Two local animal shelters say they are overwhelmed with pets as more people head back to work. Yeah, the Lodi Animal Shelter says last month they only had four dogs and now they are full. Here's CBS 13's Rachel Wolf. Jordan Chronic works for the Lodi Animal Shelter and he's been out on the road a lot more picking up strays. As of June, when uh, the state reopened, uh, we slowly started increasing. Uh, animal intake here at the shelter. Shelters across the area saw the number of animals go down during the pandemic. <laughs> now the numbers are going up as restrictions ease and people return to work. And animals are, you know, bored again and they're jumping fences, running out or getting out or, you know, um, it's just, the, you know, there's nobody there to care for them. He says last month they only had four dogs, and now they're full. There's the possibility of putting dogs outside. We have 24 dog runs uh, where we have a separation to where we can actually shut it down, but then it pushes the dog outside. You know, and with this element of heat, we really try not to do that. The Front Street Animal Shelter in Sacramento is seeing a similar trend. We have seen a slight increase um, in, in the stray animals coming in uh, since uh, the reopening of the state. Um, but overall, our intake is still um, really down compared to what it would have been, you know, a couple years ago um, without a pandemic. They say a bigger concern is the lack of veterinary services for spay and neuter surgeries, something many in the public are not doing on their own. If you're going to take that responsibility on, you want to make sure when you're gone you have something to entertain your animal, um, another buddy, you know, in the backyard, or even simply uh, uh, being able to uh, uh, crate train it to stay in the house while you're gone. Well, August is clear the shelter month, so all animals will go up for adoption for free.